In this video we're gonna look at what happens if you use a strong Strength 2 Pro Mist filter in macro photography. As you know I've played earlier with 1 fourth in density for Pro Mist filters in macro photography, but when you use high magnifications 1 fourth is not really enough, you don't see much diffusion at all. So today I am trying a Strength 2 Pro Mist filter which is pretty extreme as you can see in these portraits. But I think that this strength will be just right for some high magnification, macro photography and possibly flower photography. So let's see what happens when we use this strong Pro Mist filter. Yeah, it looks kind of misty, uh, but I mean, this is the pro mist look. This is the look we're after, at least for this experiment. I'm not sure I even like the look, but uh, I'm so eager to try it. And uh, for these photos, I don't think it adds that much. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to try some different angles. Analog film photography is so popular these days and uh, people tend to strive for a look that is a bit soft, a bit diffused. And this is the kind of look that you can get with a Pro Mist filter. And even if the filters are pretty expensive, it's much cheaper than trying to do macro photography with analog film. Because in macro photography you tend to take so many shots and only use very few of them. Because very few will have the right exposure and the right focus. So I much prefer <laughs> this way of getting an analog look. On almost every photo walk I go by this tree because I know that it is like a super highway of ants constantly, <laughs> every day. And today I actually spotted what they are doing. They are carrying small aphids back and forth. Almost every ant that I see here is carrying one of these small poor animals. If I understood it correctly, the ants are actually farming these aphids. The aphids are extracting uh, like sugar from the trees and the ants are carrying the aphids home and kind of milking them uh, to get food. Uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, I was walking around taking random photos with this strong promise filter. And I didn't really like the results that much. I mean, they basically just look a bit diffused, a bit uh, as if you would put some grease on the lens. And uh, I mean, I don't really love this look. And during a photo walk, I very often reach this point. I uh, have been taking photos for some time. I'm not happy with them. And I'm just about to return home and give up on it when I discover something amazing. If you shoot an insect sitting on something bright, you get this very cool effect. And now we're, we're kind of starting to talk here, I think. Now it starts looking interesting. So I lifted the flower with the insect to the sky and I got this. And uh, yeah, it's not the best photo ever, but uh, now I uh, have something interesting to work with. So I decided not to return home, but to continue the experiment and see if I could catch anything interesting. I found a cute little weevil here. And uh, look at this shot. This must be my favorite so far <laughs> today. It looks almost radioactive and I really love this style, this look that I got in this photo. Really love it. So I also tried lifting the leaf that the weevil was sitting on up towards the sky to see how it would look with blue background. Uh, but unfortunately he kind of flew away <laughs> when I was about to take that photo. If you like this video and if you do like macro photography, may I please suggest that you leave a like on this video to help this channel and maybe you should even consider subscribing. I post macro photography videos at least once per week, often several times per week, so it might be interesting for you to follow. After getting bored with shooting insects, I decided to try some flowers instead. Uh, funny thing though was that <laughs> I was shooting this flower and there was actually a crab spider in it, so he kind of photobombed it. <laughs> but I think this dandelion looks pretty cool with this uh, filter. I'm not sure if it is only the filter, if it would have been a cool picture without the filter. Uh, but I like the clean kind of fluorescent look that you get. 
And I think what I learned today was that the key to get interesting photos uh, with a macro lens and a strong promist filter is to shoot bright things, bright flowers, bright insects, because only then can you get this cool fluorescent look that almost looks radioactive. Uh, so that is something I took away today. And here is a comparison uh, with uh, two different exposures. Have a look at this dandelion here with a higher exposure and here with a lower exposure. As you can see the difference is quite big in how the look of the photo becomes. You could of course argue that you can probably get a very similar effect in Photoshop if you just uh, copy the base layer, create a new layer of it with 50% uh, opacity and then some Gaussian blur. I think you will get a pretty similar effect. So I'm actually not sure how much more I will use this Promise filter for macro photography. But now I did this experiment and I know the result and that was what I was after. Thank you for watching. See you very soon again.